finished up the video, packed up my clothes. There's stuff I got to use overnight and tomorrow morning, so I'll pack that up. And then click stands up 8.30-ish, 9-ish. And the world's just changed so much, though. I mean, before, we would just take off and not have reservations. Now, after, you know what? I don't even want to say it. You know, a lot more people out in the world just wanting to travel, wanting to get out, wanting to escape. And we didn't. I didn't want to take the chance that we'd be traveling along and not have a place to stay. Like, everybody would be booked, especially going along the coast. You know, that's always busy this time of year. Lots of uh, tourists coming up, and we'd be right in the middle of it. We planned ahead and got some deals and... We're able to save a little bit of money that way. It's going on uh, just after 11. I guess I'll wrap things up. Just posted that video. I'm going to schedule it. and That way I don't have to worry about it. I can just sit back and enjoy the ride. Hopefully everybody else does too. We'll see. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Welcome new subscribers, welcome returning subscribers. I do greatly appreciate you guys riding along with me. We are currently in the little town of Tupper Lake. Up here in the beautiful Adirondacks. Liz met us at our house and then met up with Dave and Monica. So we have four bikes and five people. Which is cool. Shout out to all the passengers out there. After riding my own for so many years, I don't know if I could be a passenger again. <laughs> like, well, I like the control. I like being able to go, hey, I'm gonna go this way. Drop me a comment down below if you are a motorcycle passenger. Would love to hear from you. Day one of our adventure, motorcycle adventure. This is it. This is us heading the long way round Tupper Lake. Oh no, through Tupper Lake over to Long Lake and then heading out to shit. I just miss that. No. Where was I? Oh, through Tupper Lake through to Long Lake, then up across the mountains to Interstate 87, then Ticonderoga, Whitehall, and before crossing into New Hampshire, going through Rutland to where we are staying at, which is the Vermont Inn. So gorgeous day riding. Cycling. I've got plenty of tips and tricks over to our my website, irishbobsister.com. Because I was reminded back when I first got my motorcycle, which was a 2004 Dyna Super Glide, and moved back to the Fort Drum area, Watertown, New York, and I took what was. I thought was our first, my first long trip to Harrisville, <laughs> which is like, I have to look it up on the map, but it's like 20 miles away. Like, wow, I'm going far. It might be longer. I don't know. It might not be. I might be exaggerating, but I was just like, oh man, that's so far. That is so far. Like that's the next county over. And now I'm doing states. So 
keep it up guys if you're new to motorcycling and you're wanting to take a long trip yeah it's, it's kind of scary at first I, I admit that it's like man I don't know this road I don't know these people I don't know where the gas stations are I don't know where the hotels are I don't know where I'm gonna spend the night but there's actually especially now thanks to smartphones and the internet and all that information's right there at your fingertips so you're like okay and most of the time the bikes now will tell you how much gas they've got left how many miles you can go on that tank so you're like oh yeah look there's a gas station right there I'm good oh look there's a restaurant right there let's stop and eat so keep it up because motorcycle adventure like this is just too awesome for words i love taking a long trip on the bike it is so much better i mean commuting back to forth uh to work on the bike is is fun too don't get me wrong however looking back at the archive photos you know you got the riders stopping in with the signs connecticut to frisco and uh, I want to say there was one that was Wisconsin to San Francisco or something like that. And then you have the early riders like Dela Crew and the Van Buren sisters. Of course, they were on Indian, but hey, they still went out and got adventure. And then there was uh, Avis and Effie Hodgkiss, mother and daughter duo, that did it back in the day. I'm sure lots of guys did too, but because it was, I guess, scarier for women. I remember hearing stories about the Van Buren sisters, how they actually got arrested because they were wearing pants for crying out loud, guys. So, yeah, you know, women weren't supposed to be riding those motorcycles, I guess. And now look at us. Shout out to all the women motorcyclists who ride their own. And to our passenger, because you're just, we're all in the same boat together, you know? It's fun. I love it.
picturesque park, guys. Long Lake itself. And then that building straight in front of us, that is the Adirondack Hotel. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'll have to put up, uh, I'll have to find out and see when that was built, but it goes, it was a long ways back. across the street from the Star Trek experience. If you guys are Star Trek fans of the original series, you gotta check that out too. Made it to the end, beautiful day riding. So glad you guys could come along. Had an excellent trip. Love this inn, Vermont Inn, too cute for words. Again, links down below, check it out. Let me know what you think. I, for one though, entire so I hit the hay and we'll be back at it tomorrow. So that's my hint for you guys to click that subscribe button. So then that way you'll see more. Click that bell. That way you'll be notified when I upload new content. And of course, be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like this. Until the next time, guys, please be safe. Be kind to one another, especially if you guys are traveling through somewhere. Ride when you can and have fun.